All right, so in this video, I have a real pair of Chunky Dunkies and a fake pair of Chunky Dunkies that I want to go ahead and review and compare next to each other. And so you guys can see the difference between a $1,500 sneaker and a $150 sneaker. It's really, really crazy how good these replicas are nowadays. So definitely buyer beware. So let's go ahead and get into the video in this comparison. <music> What is going on guys, Hess here at CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys would like to shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description and happy shopping. So this video is gonna be sponsored by the Check Check app. And if you haven't heard about it, I think it's about time you did because it's a really important app actually. It's really relevant to this video because you can see I have a $1,500 pair of shoes and a $150 pair of shoes. And what the Check Check app is a double check verification of your sneakers in an authentication process that you can actually just take a couple pictures of your shoes. You submit your images to this app for as low as a dollar of verification. They have an AI process that actually helps identify the real and fake, but they also have two people that actually verify the shoes. That's why it's called Check Check. So it's a double check app. Basically two humans will look at them and give it a go or no go. And if it's both a pass, then they'll show up as a pass. If they're both a no, then they'll both show up as a no. So if one expert says yes, and the other one says maybe, basically it's a stalemate and they actually ask you for more detailed pictures. So I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys. You guys know how skeptical I am about authentications. And basically you have consignment shops that can authenticate a shoe. And it's not that they're not trying their hardest to make sure that you have an authentic product and they're selling authentic products. If you bring a pair into the legit check, they're gonna look over that shoe the best that they can to the best of their abilities. But the reason why I think that the Check Check app is the next evolutionary step in the right direction is because you have people that are gonna be looking at these shoes and seeing the different versions of the fakes. Any wave of new sneakers that are gonna be coming in, they're gonna be able to look at and authenticate and tell the difference between the different versions of fakes and then the authentic pairs as well. So I really think that this can actually be a really powerful tool. And honestly, again, I was really skeptical about using this. I was skeptical about taking this paid promotion because I wanna make sure that I firmly believe in the product that they're offering. But I have to tell you that it actually worked really, really well. It was 100% accurate on 11 pairs of sneakers that I submitted. If you've seen a lot of my videos that I've done the real and fakes, basically I pulled out all those boxes. One other valuable thing that you guys could be checking out is the explore tab on the app. You can see that they've checked over 100,000 pairs of sneakers thus far, which helps show their full transparency of the passes and the no passes and the things to look out for. Even if you don't use the authentication for yourself, you can at least see some of the other sneakers that they've done already. So I've submitted both of these shoes to the Check Check app for verification. It was only $3 each for 30 minute verification. And to be honest, one of them came back in six minutes. So this is a really powerful tool. For that price point for three bucks six dollars total i got two pairs authenticated real and fake the verification results came back accurate the fake pair they actually called out as fake the real pair they actually called out as real and i'm going to show you up close in both of these shoes but they ask for very specific images for you to take pictures of the shoes and if they have any questions about them they ask for additional pictures which i think is actually something that's really important so let's say you want to do a local facebook meetup i think that this is going to be the next step is like literally having the shoes and allowing the person to take pictures of the check check app waiting up to a half an hour for the results but then getting this firm results that you got a real pair or a fake pair and the fact that they're turning over such a high volume of sneakers they're going to have a better idea and have better eyes on identifying what a real pair and a fake pair looks like. So I actually think this is a really cool app and it's one of those things that I'm going to be using going forward. When I buy my shoes from open market places, I want to make sure that I'm buying the real thing. I'm one of those people that need that extra verification on something because I don't want to be accidentally stung. I've been stung before and it sucks. Anyway, link in the description to download the app and if you guys use my code HESKICKS, it will give you a free credit to get some sneakers authenticated of your own. So I've actually teamed up with the Check Check app to do a giveaway as well. The, all the details will be in the description of the video. You need to follow the Check Check app. You need to download the Check Check app, either iPhone or Android. Sign up and register and use my referral link HESKICKS when you guys register. And lastly, drop a comment in the comment section that says done. And that's all you have to do and the winner will be announced in two weeks. All right, so back to the video, we have the Ben & Jerry Nike SB Chunky Dunky. And this is one of those shoes that I knew I was gonna own. I knew I was gonna have to pay a premium price for. And I paid $1,500 on the open market. This was my birthday present to myself, to be honest. Uh, but I really, really wanted this shoe. And I know a lot of people are gonna say it's hype or whatever, but it's just a really, really cool conceptual sneaker that I thought they executed really, really well. And if you know the roots of Nike SB, they did a lot of themed sneakers that were not officially branded with the companies that they were trying to theme the sneakers after. Part of the reason why is because they didn't want to pay the licensing fees. But this shows the evolution when you actually do pay that licensing fee 
like what can become of this sneaker? It looks crazy. Like, I, I don't know. I'm really, really feeling this one and I'm happy that I was able to buy it. So this is the Chunky Dunky and this is a real pair, right? So this is the one I paid $1,500 for. If you guys have paid attention, you guys saw on my channel a little while ago, I did an unboxing of these. In fact, I was waiting to pull the trigger on the real pair. Now that I have both of them, I can actually do a detailed review and comparison to both of the shoes and just point out some of the things that look really, really similar and point out some of the things that are dead giveaways why these are fake. As I mentioned a million times, I'm not an expert at pointing out this. This is like literally a Where's Waldo sort of approach as I'm gonna be looking at both of these shoes side by side to try to figure out what are the differences. Anyway, these are the shoes side by side and man, uh, it's, it's pretty crazy how good these fakes are. Like they're getting so good at replicating even like pretty complex pairs of sneakers like these. Now, the cuts and everything aren't complex, but the different materials that they had to use and source to create a fake pair of these is definitely like they're doing the most to make sure that they're trying to source all of the same materials and i know some people are like well they're made from the same exact factories with the same exact materials and blah 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 i don't think that that's the truth because if you look at these actually in hand you can tell there is a difference in the materials so maybe the same factories i don't even know how that would be possible but definitely not the same materials otherwise the cost of materials for the real pair would be way higher if the fake pairs were being made with the same materials as the reals that's why these are totally different. And you can tell the rubberized feel of the uh, the leather versus the leather on the real pair, which is softer. I will say it's not a high quality leather. Like this doesn't look very good in hand, but it definitely feels different. And this feels fake. This feels like cheaper leather that Nike usually uses on a $100 shoe. Other than that, the toe box shape is a little bit off on the fake pair versus a real one. The fake pair is definitely more rounded than the real one. The real one is more boxy. So other than the blue part on the toe box, the other giveaway for myself is these little checks on the side. It's made from the same sort of material. Like honestly, I don't even think this is leather. Uh, but this is like a stickier, rubberized material, same as on the toe section, versus the real one, which has a smoother feel to the touch than the rubberized feel of the fake. So that's another dead giveaway for myself. Hands down, the biggest giveaway, though, that these are fake versus the real ones is if you look close enough, you'll notice that the liners are totally off. Like, this is a different print and different material than this one. Like, literally, the print is different. Yes, it's the same variations of colors, so it's much smaller, much more pronounced, much bigger and bulkier like designs on the fake one and super noticeable when you have them in hand that it's not the same print. Very well mimicked, but it's not the same. The labels on the inside and outside of the tongue actually look pretty, pretty close, to be honest. And even the real pair that I have has a loose thread on the tongue. So it's something that happened. And then check this out, where I bought them from, sent them with the, the extra laces all unraveled and stuff that was really cool of you guys at least the fake pair came with a tight roll if you look at the heels of the shoes the nike logos are actually uh embroidered the same sort of i mean they look very very similar this one's a little bit sloppier on the fake the bottom of the black leather of the half crescent is actually has the widow's peak at the end of both of them so it's not just one it's on both of them for those wondering then the clouds and stuff look pretty much the same as well a little bit bigger on the real pair than on the fake pair. The stitching on the cow material on the back is actually more noticeable. Like you can see the full stitches versus this one's kind of hidden in the fur. But this is actually where things change quite a bit. If you actually look at the color of the reels versus the fakes, the fakes actually use a dark brown uh, color for the spots and the Chunky Dunkies have more of a black uh, kind of spotting on the shoes. And if you look at the green pastures at the sides of the shoes, they don't line up perfectly either. The real pair like runs a little bit higher on the inside of the shoe. On the outside of the shoe though, it looks pretty similar. Like the, the swooshes and everything line up about the same on both, at least the ones I see. So the midsoles look pretty much the same. If you look at the stitching across the midsoles though, you do see a difference. The real ones have a little bit of a thicker string and it actually looks a little bit more visible. The fake ones look a little bit more hidden, I guess. And honestly, the fake ones look like they're crafted a little bit better than the real ones. Like they did a really good job stitching the uppers to the midsoles on the fakes. As for the bottoms of the shoes, they both are green and they have that like neon green in the middle where the Nike SB is. However, the real ones have like more wrinkling around. The fake ones just look like it's just more manufactured, if you will. So looking under the insoles of the shoes, the strobles definitely have more like numbers and stuff on this one. This one, it's just look, looks like a regular Nike strobe. This one looks a little bit more raw. And the glue is like yellow on the bottom of here that holds the insole down. The real one doesn't have that at all. There are loose white strings on both of them though, just for those wondering. For the insoles, they look pretty similar as well. As you can see, the fake one is a little bit more rounded. This one is a little bit more rigid on the real one. And then the Zoom Air unit on the back, this one's actually misaligned on the real pair. 
which is not like perfectly centered. But the fake pair actually has a softer and squishier uh, zoom pocket. The real one though is a little bit firmer and has that snapback that you'd expect from Nike Zoom. They do both have the same letters branded on the bottom, although this one's a thicker font. So all I can say is I paid $1,500 for this shoe. Is it worth $1,500? Probably not. I mean, it's just a shoe that I really, really wanted in my collection. And unfortunately, I have to pay to play and $1,500 is the going market price for this shoe. So can I understand why people would want to pay $150 for these and have them look almost identical and not be the real thing? Yes, but it's the same thing as anything else out there. Like if you get a Luca or a Zion from a Facebook group or on eBay for a really, really good price, and then you get it in hand and you're like, ah, oh, this feels a little bit off. What if you found out it was a fake and you paid $1,000 for it and it was actually something you could have bought a fake for for $100? Are you okay with it when that happens? Like, the thing is, is do you want the real thing because you want the real thing? Or do you want something to emulate the real thing because you can't afford the real thing? It's definitely a slippery slope. There were a lot of sneakers when I was younger I could not afford, I couldn't get. Even the ones that were available in the stores for regular prices, I just didn't have any money. But now that I've worked my entire life, like I can afford to buy a $1,500 pair of sneakers for my birthday. So I think that it's situational. Some people don't care that much about something like this and they're just gonna buy the fake. But if you are gonna be buying on the open market, I would highly suggest you using the Check Check app. Again, link in the description to download it. Use my code HESKICKS to get that free credit. In fact, I would actually challenge you guys to download the app and give it a try on a pair of sneakers that you bought that you were kind of wishy-washy on. You didn't know if you're getting a real deal or not. Try the app and, and have them give you the peace of mind if you got a real pair or if you got stung on a fake pair. And if you did get stung on a fake pair, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what uh, the results are of that because I think that that's gonna happen more often than not. Hopefully there's not too many horror stories out there, but I really think that this app can help improve things for you guys in the future. Again, if you guys want to enter the giveaway, check the details in the description. Shout out to Check Check App for sponsoring this video again. Super cool, man. I honestly wouldn't have even tried this app if they never reached out, and now it's one of those things that I'm gonna be doing on a regular basis, especially if I'm gonna be buying stuff from third parties. It's definitely a really smart additional step for you to be able to protect your investments. But anyway, fake versus real, uh, chunky dunky. So hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully it was helpful if you guys did. I like the video, please uh, go ahead and drop a like on the video. I'd much appreciate it if you guys do that. If you guys are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, notification bell to be notified of when my videos are posted. See you guys for some more, hopefully. Peace.